Hey guys, Kevin here with eTrailer, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Dexter Over Under Axle Conversion Kit here on our enclosed trailer build. So we get this question all the time, how can I boost the height of my trailer so that I can get it level with my tow vehicle, especially with uh, newer trucks? Seems like Ram keeps making their trucks taller and taller so that they can't, you know, no one can get their fifth wheel in there without actually hitting the bed rails. So let me show you uh, this conversion kit that we have on our enclosed trailer. So with our tire off now, I can show you what our assembly looks like here. As you can see, the U-bolts are facing up. When we put this conversion kit on, it's going to have our U-bolts facing down. And then we're going to be dropping our axle down to here, increasing our ride height. But the first thing we need to do is measure our axle. So we're going to try and find the diameter of the axle so that we can get the correct kit. So looking at it, it looks like we're at two and three eighths inch. Now this kit does come with a two and three eighths inch and a three inch diameter kit. And that really is gonna go with the size of the U-bolts and then the spring seats. All right, so let me give you some measurements here. Let's see what our factory ride height is. So from the ground to the wheel well, we're sitting at 29 and a quarter. From the ground to the body, we are sitting right at 12 and three quarter. Okay, so now that we got our kit installed and the axle flipped under our leaf spring, let me give you a ride height. So now from the ground to the wheel well, we're sitting at right about 34 and a quarter inches. And then let me also give you one for ground to the body, sitting right at 17 inches. So that's gonna give us that extra space, handle all those clearance issues that we've been having. So the installation difficulty of this kit is going to vary trailer to trailer. Obviously with our small enclosed trailer here, it really wasn't that difficult. But if you have a giant fifth wheel, maybe you got a 40 foot fifth wheel with all kinds of weight and whole lot of hassle trying to jack it up, it's going to give you a little bit more of a challenge. So you're going to want to take that in mind while you're doing this. Uh, other than that, just bolting on the parts really isn't that difficult. It's really just a lot of setup for a couple of changes. So your Dexter over under conversion kit is going to come with two spring seats, your nut adjusters, your nuts, your U-bolts, and your U-bolt plates. So the first step of this installation is going to be removing your tires. So you'll want to do that while the trailer is still on the ground. So now that I got the nuts off, I'm gonna take off my wheel. I'll set that to the side. I did jack up this trailer now that I have the nuts off. Uh, and then I added four jack stands. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you place an even amount of jack stands along your trailer just so that you can support it without having to worry about it coming down on top of you. Obviously, if you have a bigger trailer, go ahead and use more. Do whatever you feel comfortable with. As you can see, our U-bolts and our U-bolt plate is pretty rusted up here. So I'm going to spray some penetrating oil on here just so that we can get our bolts off. We're going to let that set in just a little bit and then we're going to take these nuts off. We got our first U-bolt out. 
I try to go back and forth on each of these just so that the U-bolt doesn't try pinching one way or the other. Alright, now that we got our second U-bolt off and our U-bolt plate down, we can go to the other side and do the same thing. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to support our axle here because right now it is free hanging since we don't have the bolts holding it to our springs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a jack right in the center to just support that weight. So like as you can see, if I lift up, this is just free. You don't want that falling down on you while you're working. There we go. And then we're going to take this bolt off right here. So we're going to be dropping off the bolt from the front of our leaf springs. So that's going to be going towards the nose of your trailer. All right, now that we got that out, going to pull out our bolt. This can be a little stiff here just because it's got some weight pressing down on it. So our bolt's actually on here pretty good. We are going to actually just thread our nut back on just a little bit so that we can hammer on our nut and not damage our bolt here and then we're going to pop it out that way. All right so next I'm going to take a punch and we're just going to hammer this bolt out a little bit. So we're going to get to a point where the punch and hammer isn't really going to be effective here and we're just going to get under there and socket it the rest of the way out. All right so now that we got our bolt out I'm just going to pop the Spring down out of the hanger. You may have to loosen this bolt just a little bit so that it'll hang freely. Just like that. Cool. So now we can remove our axle and we'll hang our springs back up and redo our whole setup with the conversion kit. So now that we have our axle loose and our leaf springs loose, we're going to Pull our axle out, get our leaf springs back in place, and then work on bolting in our axle. So now that we have the axle off, we can put this back in place. Uh, I do want to mention that I did loosen up these bolts just to kind of move this in a little bit, just so that we could get lined up right. But now we can slide our bolt through. And you are going to have to kind of hammer it back into place because it is sticking out just a bit. And then we can thread on our nut. So the next thing we're going to do is slide our axle back over into place. Then we're going to take our spring seat and our adjustment nuts here. We're going to slide these on. They don't need to go all the way down. We're just getting them on about halfway so that we can see exactly where we need to be. So the spring seat's actually going to sit right here. And then we're going to tighten it down, which I'm going to need to put up a little bit more. So we'd set this on here, we'd get this level, and then tighten these down using a wrench until they put pressure on the, the bracket on our axle. All right, so we're gonna just tighten these just so that the spring seat is level. We don't want this actually pushing up off. We want the spring seat actually making contact with the axle. And one other thing I do want to note is that Dexter highly recommends coming in afterwards and tacking this on both sides so that you don't have any chance of the axle 
moving at all and getting off level. So I already went ahead and put the other side up just so that it was a little bit easier on video to show you uh, me putting this side on. But what you can do also is just stick like a chunk of wood, uh, some kind of block, anything that you got, just to kind of get it up level. And now we're going to set this on here. So there's gonna be a little um, like nipple thing right here on the other side that you're gonna poke onto. Just gotta line that up, there we go. And then you can use something to hold it up in place. We're going to set our plate on here, just like this. If you set it this way, your bolts aren't going to line up and you're going to be hitting your brake flange, or your flange for your axle here. So now we will take our U-bolts. We're going to put them through the axle like that and then up through our plate. All right, before our U-bolts were going like this, now we're going to be flipping them upside down this way. So we're going to get it under the axle and then up into our plate. And then we will put our nuts on. Just gonna get them hand tight until we get both sides going and then we can tighten it down. Now we can go ahead and tighten these down. So right now I'm just doing this with our regular socket wrench just to get it kind of hand tight, but then we are going to torque this to spec what you can find in your instructions. And you do want to do these evenly so that you're not pulling on one side too much and throwing it off. So here's our completed conversion kit. Basically, if you look at a, our side-by-side -side of our axle to start with, from now, we basically completely flipped our system here. The bend of the U-bolt used to be up here, now it's down here, so you're going to gain the diameter of your axle as well as your leaf springs so that you can get your trailer sitting a little bit higher so that you can handle all those clearance issues that you might be facing. All right, now that we got our system in place, we can put our wheel back on. So as you can see, now that we have the trailer lowered back down and sitting on the wheels, uh, we have clearly a bigger difference here. So we have a way higher ride height, but really that's it for this installation. My name's Kevin. Thanks for watching guys.